is the number to call, 844-580-WDBO. Let's head on over to Orange Orange City, where Miguelito's got a question about his Hyundai. Go ahead, Miguelito. Hello. Hey. Yes, I had a question about my wife's 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. All right. He has a push-button start, and sometimes when you push the button, like one second, the car will start up. Other times, you have to hold the button for like 10 seconds before the car will start. I called the dealer and asked them about it, and they said it's probably the battery. So I bought another battery, and it's still doing the same thing. Didn't know if you had any thoughts on it. Okay. Uh, let me ask you this. Now, you re- you replaced the battery that's in the car, right? Yes. Okay. Have you, have you replaced the batteries in the remotes? Yeah, we've done that a few times. Seems like they only last a year or so. Yeah. yeah it's important. Uh, you know, that's when, when a car comes in the Magic Mechanic for service, um, and depending on which service it is, maybe it be a 75,000-mile service or whatever, you know, they actually have replaced remote battery as part of that service nowadays, you know. So it's, it's important that you do keep those, uh, you know, replaced on a, you know, periodic basis if not you'll wind up with an issue uh, make a little l- listen this is this is how this system works you know see your 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 key fob is basically a transmitter and it, it goes into a, con- a a control module actually reads the radio frequency that's actually being emitted from that key fob uh, and then when you push the button it goes through what's called a smart junction box and and that's what will actually control the relay to activate the starter. Um, you know, okay. really, you you've done. You know, if if you've replaced the battery, um, and you have um, uh, re- got new batteries in the fob, the only thing that uh, that I could suggest, even and and there's no codes for this system, would be to actually hook a scan tool to it. You know, and actually see what's happening when you push the button itself. Now, this smart um, uh, junction box, uh, there's a, a relay in it, and, and it's a micro relay. It, it's not something that you could just go to a parts store and buy. It requires replacing the whole entire junction box. Um, it, it, it's basically a fuse and relay center um, when they start going bad. Um, and, you know, that is probably what's going on with it. The the, the control module on these, um, you know, it reads the radio frequency, and, and it goes through this oscillation period to where all, every time you start your vehicle, there's there's like probably 100,000 different frequencies that will allow that, uh, that w- allow that vehicle to crank over and start. And, you know, if, if it is starting only just a delay, to me, that's telling me that there's probably something, you know, through the system. And the only thing after the control module would be the the smart junction box is what Hyundai refers to it as. And I would I would think that it's probably just a lazy micro relay that's actually inside of it that's causing the issue. Because if it was anything else, see, it wouldn't start. You wouldn't you would never be able to start it unless it was receiving the correct signal. And that's telling me that it's reading the the fob, and then when you go to push the button, I, the the only way to know 100% for sure would be for me to actually take. And it sounds primitive, but this is what I would do. I would take a 12 volt test light down to the solenoid on the starter itself, and then have somebody actually push the button, uh, you know, to start the car. If I get a light immediately at that solenoid then I know I'm completing every circuit that I need to without any hesitation or any delay. And that would tell me that I'm good all the way down to the starter, and it's probably something just in the starter itself or either the solenoid. But if I don't get a light, you know, a 12-volt test light to light up immediately whenever that start button is pushed, then I know it's something upwards all the way up to the, the push button itself would have to be tested. So, you know, t- testing to see if we got voltage immediately at the solenoid whenever sh- the, she pushes the start button, that's going to tell us if everything in that circuit is good all the way to the starter. If we have a delay, 
a 10 second delay and then all of a sudden we get a, a some voltage there to go ahead and engage the starter then i would know that it was something in, either in the smart junction box the control module or something in the in the actual switch itself um, sorry i can't perform a miracle or all out magic to tell you exactly what to do with this one here but i can darn sure tell you how to diagnose it megaletto i hope that gives you a little bit of insight and i hope that helps thanks for your call Hi folks, Larry Perry here. For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle, and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.